Hey guys and welcome to a new episode of Nomadic Dmitry channel. Today we're going to talk about something very interesting. How do we create the virtual machines usually? We're creating the instance of virtual machine and we're attaching the virtual disks to it, right? It's like usually VMDK file for example or any other types of virtual machine files that we have. But it's not always how we want to use it. Sometimes we just want to use our real hard drive, right? We want to use our external hard drive and all that. For that case, I was actually looking around around a lot and like trying to find what is the actual way to be able to do all that what is the way to attach your actual uh, hard disk with your installation let's say linux installation or windows installation on actual hard drive so it's actually was quite challenging to realize how to do all that so today we're going to talk about it let's say we have this disk right here this external disk i have attached right here here are two partitions one is unmounted another one is mounted this one is mounted because well it mounts by default if it's a fat 32 partition or any partition that matches can read basically before we proceed what we need to do we need to actually unmount it we need to click the right button of the mouse and we need to press unmount right here so we have it all unmounted it's not mounted anymore and now we can proceed what we need to do we need to actually check what partition this external hard drive is it's not only like external hard drive it can be like your internal hard disk and you want to be able to access some partition on it but for this experiment i'm using external hard drive just because i mean it's safer i guess disk util list is the command to be actually read all those partitions on your mac machine all right so what do we have here we have three disks right here one of them is the synthetic basically synthesize it's actually not a real one our real partition is this one internal physical is actually what i have in my mac but we want this one on external physical the identifier of this disk is def disk 2 perfect now we know which disk it is we now know what we need to do with it here i have some small instruction right here for you i'm gonna actually provide it down in the description below what we need to do okay we unmounted the disk utility the hard drive using disk utility now we need to locate the name of the drive we located it right it's done uh, by the way i wanted to Say that you, sh you should actually not eject your partition but press unmount button it's very important you should not eject your partition next step is gonna be this one so what we're going to do right now is basically we're gonna create the vmdk file but it's not gonna be like instance of virtual machine it's not gonna hold the virtual machine files it's just gonna be a reference from this vmdk file to our actual disk so for to do that we need actually to use this command so vbox manage and we're gonna use this this method to be actually access all that I'm gonna copy it my terminal this is the utility vbox manager that we're going to use to, to do all that and here we need to basically provide the location we're gonna create all that for me it's volumes media vm and let's try this one because i already have this file right there so and here we provide the raw disk parameter right here for this and then we provide the disk uh, identifier so here is disk 2 and it's disk 2 for me as well so just change it depending on which disk you have so we are ready all right so i'm typing my root password here created successfully and as you can see it was actually accessed like it actually mounted it all back and here i have this file actually if you look at this file the file size is this one very small because this is just basically a reference to actual uh, raw disk which is uh, this one disk 2 s5 partition this is the linux partition i have here We're almost done basically now what we need to do we need to launch the virtual box not as a regular user but as a root user let me show you the difference so if i open the virtual box right now it's gonna show me all my virtual machines I have here but it's not gonna work because if you go to settings and if you try to mount this drive right here in the storage so let me actually try all that choose existing disk and I'm gonna add this disk and if I do that it's gonna say fail to open the disk image and the error is gonna be access denied it's not possible to access your uh, external disk in this mode not as a root user you must be a root user to do all that we're gonna close this instance of virtualbox now we're gonna access the internals of virtualbox app now if you go to applications virtualbox and press the show package content you right click on it and press show package content this is the actual binary where your virtualbox is located so if you go if you want to like you can just check it out and see there are like other interesting resources in this folder as well so we have this path right here most likely it's going to be the same for you so we're going to type sudo since we want to run as a root user another option of course is login as a root user but this is like very destructive way of doing things so i'm not going to do that and i do not recommend you doing that and now we're going to launch it this way 
So now it's gonna launch VirtualBox in this mode. And this is the mode we're actually we're running as a root. And as you can see, we have a separate virtual machine right here. And if you go to settings, I have the storage uh, actually mounted right here. I have this uh, right here. For you, it's gonna be this, uh, you need to press this button, choose existing disk, and you're gonna actually attach your disk that you just have created, right? So basically the reference of the, to your external hard drive. Of course, before doing all that, you need to create the virtual machine. For you, it's gonna be actually, you, ju you just need to create your instance a virtual machine right here you need to create everything from scratch because it's a new profile it's a new user so you need to press basically new you're gonna provide like test for example windows all that the memory all of that and you're gonna just provide it to your existing uh, virtual hard disk drive you're gonna provide this vmdk file which is a reference to your uh, hard drive to your external hard drive or internal hard drive basically just a reference very easy to create i'm not gonna create this one because i already have it here i have this image right here created right there so what i'm gonna do is gonna press the start button by the way in those instructions right here i say don't forget to enable e efi option here but it's not relevant if you do not use the efi mode uh, in your virtual machine so like ignore that on that so i basically have my ubuntu installation right here on the hard drive and i'm loading it in the efi mode so basically ignore that for, for you it's going to be just most likely a regular uh, windows or linux installation so for you it's going to be easier most likely but again you can just also if you need you can select efi mode in your virtual machine settings so what i have here kubuntu Ubuntu is loaded. I'm actually booting from my external hard drive. And this is cool, I think. This is a really great way to use. But there is also one problem. Since we're running this virtual box as a root, it means that virtual box can do any kind of destructive actions, right? So basically, there is no guarantee that virtual box doesn't do something destructive to your system since it's running as root. So be careful. I do not recommend running it like full time, just only for experiments, I think, or only when you actually need it. But for me, it actually works out because i can use it when i need it thank you guys for watching please subscribe if you like this video please ask your questions down below in the comments i hope it was really helpful for you to understand all that and use on your mac machine so thank you